Oh. All right, guys, let's uh, get this popping. Went and got some of this stuff today. Let's see how this right here works for me. Um, Today we're going to get to work on this again. Hey, you guys. Oh, shit. I went and picked up a new spot putty. I wanted to try this. I kind of wasn't liking what the Bondo spot glaze was giving me. Um, so I'm going to try this. Kim Bowie spot putty. Yeah, I will. Um, I went to go look for the 3M stuff and it was $24 this right here is $8 Tom so I'll try this if this works good for me um, I could pick you up some send it your way um, 8 bucks so I'll try it I just didn't like um, I just didn't like I got this I just didn't like just didn't like it and I mostly, on, on a lot of my, on the full putty jobs that I do, like we're actually doing body body work, I use uh, this Evercoat, Tom. And it's a two-part. I just didn't want to mix a two-part um, just for fixing little bitty stuff. So I'm going to try this stuff now. Supposed to the way this bed is made, guys. This whole insert is one piece. I'm trying to get it to the right height before I glue it all in there. There, I heard a click. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like it. I like the way it feathers and everything, Tom. Yeah. And see, I I know I know your um you've already shared your thoughts on um the two part clear. Um, I'm used to working with it, and that's why I was asking questions about what you use, Tom, because it maybe it's something that I, I, I want to try out. I've been wanting to try it out anyway. Um, I just, I hadn't.
I see you got the interior painted on the one. Tom, that's looking really good. I like that dark brown color. I was looking to buy a couple more of these guys, but man, they're still running some of the some of the dang dealers on eBay are still running them for $45 plus the shipping. Hope this is a kit that falls down later on cuz some of the some of the other kits now are down to like $12, $13. Tyler, I didn't see your videos, but I saw your post of that new Firebird if you win the lottery. <laughs> With people in the hobby like Brian Buster and Tom here that's with us now. And Rick seeing all your guys' fun toys, man. I don't know what I would do if I hit the lottery. I don't know what I would buy. I like Rick's truck because it's pro-streeted, bright color. I like Tom's truck because it's stock looks great and then i like you know the different toys that brian buster um has out there then we got um over there at the heartbeat garage uh he's got his um yellow 69 camaro it's like man some of you guys got some great one-to-ones Yeah. Yeah. First first I would have to do Thomas build a garage and then buy the cars. I would have to make sure I had the room before I had the cars. All right. So what we did last week guys, remember I did I worked on the grill last time we came. And this is what I got. And this is the Molotov Chrome um, marker. Um, I used um, um, just a regular cheap black, you know, spray can black, just a cheap spray can black. Um, I let it dry, and then we put the custom grill screen in there. And then we added the resin um, headlights, and then we did the Molotov Chrome pin. Um, so now I actually glued that bed pan in and you guys can see how I drilled out all the holes um, Thinking about doing I don't know if I wanted to do a brace for some reason in my head I want to do a brace here like you would in the engine compartment, but I didn't I don't know Because we are putting the big Nissan GTR motor in it And I don't know if I updated you guys on detailing the wheels. Hello, Mooger. Um, thanks for the comment about the doctor's visit today when we was talking. Um, everything went well. Just get my prescriptions back. <laughs> Yeah, don't worry about it, Paul. Don't worry about it. And then... Let's see. Now that we did all that, and we're doing this, we basically got a lot of that stuff together. I think I want to do a gray interior. And look, it comes with some boxes, guys. Where's the piece? Well, it had a piece of paper in here for some boxes. Where, Where's the boxes? Okay, right here's the box. 
and it gives you this template that you could cut a box out and I think I want to do one thanks David I think I want to build one box of Hazagawa kits and then I think I want to do um, I think I want to make um, whatchamacallit um, scaledworld.net boxes Maybe like a scaledworld.net t-shirt, something, you know what I mean? Oh, I'm good, how are you? Yeah, you better hurry up. Yeah, this didn't you pick this kit up too, Tom? Or or I know you have the Nissan Sunny truck. I don't know if you picked up the C1 kit. Yeah, uh, David. Good question. Um, good question. Um, good comment, guys. I want to announce. Let's, um, I'm going to work on the interior today. I got to have some kind of direction. Every time we come to set down here, um, I go off at the, uh, I go off at the mouth and we, we kind of don't handle what I, what I put in the title. But, but for a minute before we get into work and I got plenty of time today, kids won't be home until after three. Um, so right now I got some time. I did all my running around, but like, um. Yeah, within this set, uh, Todd, um, um, within this set, Todd, it gives us, um, a Skyline Seats, um, it'll give you the Skyline Seats, um, the Skyline, it even gives us the Skyline Dash, so this kit is loaded with, with really nice parts, um, still don't know what I'm gonna do on the front end yet, me and, um, Pete have been thinking about maybe just no front bumper, uh, relocate a license plate up front, maybe a tow, a tow hook or something. Um, but here's the Valance that comes with it. It comes with the front bumper, steering wheel, and all that gray body stuff that you see put on there, Todd. Um, not the cheapest kit, um, but good quality stuff. And it makes a world of difference. Um, like I said, I already have a second stock kit of the of the little Sunny truck. I've been I was looking on eBay last night and some today. I wanted the newer one because of the different headlights. And the older one, this is the mid one. Um, the older one is blue on the box. This one's white on the box, and the newer one is gray on the box. Um, I wanted the older one too, just to have all three years. But basically, the front end is the same. Instead of having a chrome ring like this stock one does, it's just painted. Um, so I don't see a huge difference in them. Um, but I kind of want to make one a short bed, and I have some other plans. You know, these right here are considered the long, the long beds. But I'll look into that later. But back to the raffle. Um, as of today, don't get all that out. As of today, Mooger contacted me, and he said he wanted five spots. He wants to donate two of them. Uh, this one here is the 79. This truck here is the 79. Um, Mooger, bought, um, Mooger bought five spots this morning. Um and he donated two of the spots, but he donated three of the spots to you guys. Edgar at the Mad Labs. Um, where did I put Edgar? He's around here somewhere. Edgar at number 32. He bought one for Monty. And he bought one for John Pohl. And I don't see... They're in here, guys. I just, I got lost real quick. Oh, John Pohl. We put John Pohl down at 19. And then Monty should be over here in the 50s, I believe. Yeah, Monty at 56. 
the yellow boxes, guys, were the hidden spots. And all four hidden spots were chosen. Um, when you guys said, just pick me random spots, um, I was letting my kids pick them. Because I didn't want nobody to think, you know, well, Minnie put that here so he could win something. But David G. has won two. James Schultz has, has won one. And then Eddie, um, he goes by Fast Eddie here on YouTube. Um, he's won one. Yeah, it's a Nissan Sunny. Um, give me one second, James. Um, here's the unopened one. Here's the unopened one. And it's the Nissan Sunny Long Body Deluxe. And see how this one here has the chrome trim? The older one has a full chrome front bumper and a different grill but looking through this kit here it has it don't have the actual grill but it has the bumpers for the older version and then the newer version is got square headlights you know it's it's square headlights still all the long bed um and this is what this is what it looks like prior to the front end swap and the rear body flares like that so I got that and then the bed piece you guys see me just glue in you know it, it consists of the floor two sides and then that front wall um, and then a back wall which I don't see it on this plastic tree hopefully it's in there oh it's on the body my bad yeah it's a neat truck I've uh, me and Pete have went through um, tons and tons of pictures. Um, they fix up so cool. There's some really neat ones. Um, and what we what what is good about the newer Hazagawa kits, the older ones, when they're in the historic car series, um, they were actually toys. All that you all we're really buying is just the body because you can't use. They really don't even have an interior. It's just like a slag piece, you know. Um, with the top of the headrest in it, and it's just very, very generic. All right, but let's get back to this. Um, so as of now, we have three. Let's see. Let's go back here. We have three. Um, we have three giveaway spots, and. Um, we do have three giveaway spots. Here, I've been keeping track of some of the questions. Um, just having fun with it. Um, so I know not to ask the same things again. Um, here's what I was hiding. Um, here's what I was hiding. I'm not going to show you guys what the gifts are yet. But, you know, I just take a little side note. And, you know, I, I had the lucky spots. And that's why I couldn't show you guys that page. And then over here was the puzzle. Um... Bill, um, bobblehead skill custom. He he um he completed that puzzle. So with with all that being said and done, um, we guys we have three spots to give away, but we only have let's see we have one two, three four, five six seven, eight nine, ten, eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen, sixteen. 17 18 19 so we have three to give away so there's only 16 spots left to buy into guys um i have three hey yeah i seen that i seen that um tom let me show you guys this i have and this right here is an old, old, um, an old Japanese kit. Um, now this is a 120th scale King Cab. Now this is the the 120th scale King Cab. And then I picked up some wheels for some other kits. Um, look at the difference in these two. <laughs> 
And this is the mini truck. <laughs> um, I picked up some wheels and tires from other kits. I don't know if they were toys or whatnot. I just, I love digging through. I love digging through crap. And um, this thing is going to be, let me get this out of the way. This thing right here is going to be sick one day. I just got to get motivated to get around to it. Um, I'll probably have to scratch build a crap ton of the chassis. Um, I don't have a whole lot of the drivetrain and all that. Um, let me see. Just love how stuff looks when you mock it up. But look at, look at that on those wheels. I think that'd just be killer. Um, I have to make a windshield. It has a big, nasty crack right down the roof. Um, when I got it, this whole piece here was laying in a bag. Um, no, this right here is Bandai. Um, and a lot of people are buying Bandai stuff or like figures and... Um, you know, stuff like that, but it's an original Bandai kit, um, from the, from the mid-70s, I was gonna try to, <laughs> I was gonna try to enlarge the image instead of the phone, <laughs> yeah, and it says right there, made in Japan, but it is a right-hand drive, um, the interior, look, the interior has all the, all, you know, that's, that's engraved in the interior, um, the plating and stuff, um, the only window that's savable would be this, and then, you know, here's here's what I got for the chassis. Um, so I'll probably, I'll have to do a lot, try to find out what to do. There's no tail lights came with it. Um, I don't know what this is. There's a plug hole right there. I'll have to look into that. No motor, it's just the way it was, but I'll be able to, I'll be able to do something with it. It's a pretty neat pretty neat subject they are bringing like Tom said they're bringing out the year model after this truck but it's only um, it's only a standard cab because um, the newer one doesn't have the one that's coming out doesn't I don't think it has this groove I think it's the the body style where we're the groove where the body line was actually up higher, not down so low. Um, if you guys have the Roaring Monster Tow Truck and was a yellow MPC kit, um, front flip nose, all that kind of crazy stuff, um, that's what kit they're reissuing, but they're actually bringing back all the stock parts. Oh, it is this body style? That's cool. Um, now, Bandai used to have a Honda Civic. They used to have a Honda Civic, um, like a 77, 76 Civic. And it opens all the way up. You had opening doors, hood, and they had a, um, I think it's called a Simbar van that was the same way all on the 120th scale line. Yeah, the California Sunshine truck, yeah. So, yeah, Pete, if you could see this picture, there's what we need to be cut out. That one there, and then that one there. And then we'll put some scaledworld.net boxes on them or something, like the logos. And um, may, may put them in there, may not, but you can keep it around the truck for display. But I thought those were I thought those were cool. We wanted to work on the interior. That's how this this right here goes. Um, some kits. I mean, I don't know. I really like this kit because of the, of the little extra attention they put into detail for some of you guys. 
and then look instead of digging through your call outs i know this ain't in english but instead of flipping back and through looking for your call outs and stuff um if you could read Japanese you could cut all that out and then just tape that to your desk or when you got to a part number you didn't have to flip back and you know realize what you needed that part for and what it was going for yeah talk to you later Tom thanks for spending a few minutes with us guys if you're not subscribed to Woods over there um, go check out um, his channel um, Keep him encouraged and keeping him building. Um, he has great ideas. He has a lot of rarity on his bench. And um, he's not afraid to use his knife. He he likes to build what he can envision just like me. And it leads to some great awesome builds. So let's work. I'm going to work on the interior. I think I want to start working on that. door cards here see I still don't care for still don't care for those mirrors guys I like the painted ones I like the ones that you have to paint I like those better than the chrome ones but I don't know that's just me and see I think the difference between that newer one that I want uh, the older one that I was looking at versus this one, I think the difference are the mirrors. That this right here has the newer, rounder mirrors like that, and the older one has this mirror. I think it's just a matter of some stuff like that, and then the grill insert pops in there. That's that's pretty pretty neat. That way you really didn't have to black wash that if you didn't want to. Left. I wanted to see this. I was looking at one of the other ones. Now see, one of the other Sunnies has two different dash, two different dash um, clusters. This one here only has the round ones. Wonder if the round ones will fit in. No, it's all right. I, I watched your show for a little bit, but and then I came over here. Um, I was taking some meds, and you helped me get ready for this show. I enjoyed your uh, I enjoyed your little live broadcast, bud. Um, if you guys didn't know, um, Hinterland, he goes live sometimes on Facebook. Um, he was over there talking about um, his reflection of going through stages in the hobby um so if you guys are followed with him go over there and check out the video um he addressed some of the stuff that he's encountered um why he's been building through different you know we all you know there's different kit manufacturers processes um we get set in one way to do a decal and then you know you know it stuff don't work out for us so we sometimes we get discouraged and he said <laughs> He said it's like remarrying the ex-wife over and over, and uh, <laughs> and like he's glutton for punishment. But but he pushes through the build, and and, and that and that shows um, some great experience as a modeler that that um, uh, Dustin has been becoming. Instead of getting overexcited and and blowing his top and trashing the kit, um, he works around it. He he finds his obstacle. And, and then he goes around that obstacle and he comes back later on to address it again instead of uh, just like shutting the door on it and never returning. Um, so that, that takes, you know, a lot of us don't have that kind of um, encourage or aspect. We look at it and we think, oh, that's just a, a piece of turd of a kid. I'll never touch it again. And Dustin um, pushes through it and then he comes back and refines it. And that shows a lot of... Um, that shows a lot of greatness in this hobby when you can do something like that. I enjoyed it, Dustin.
Punch, it was great talking to you today, buddy. Thank you for the conversation. I know we didn't spend a whole lot of time. Um, you're going to your place, and I'm headed out the door, but it was great talking to you. <laughs> I'm looking. Oh, man. Casey, Casey came in here ye uh, yesterday. I was sitting here trying to do stuff, and he came in here picking on me. So let's see. Probably won't use none of that. I like these, uh, what do they call these? Wannabes? Uh, no, you're, hey. Yeah, no problem. No problem. It was great just to, you know, be able to, to touch base with you for a minute. Um, guys, um, Punch has done a model kit review on his channel of the Hazagawa, the new BMW that they're bringing out. And he um, has um, given that kit to me. And I really appreciate him for that. Um, we're going to do a little bit of um, plastic dealing. And I will be able to build that car. And um, we're going to put some of these new Aeroshima wheels to use on it when it shows up. Um, so we're going to look through and see what we can't do, of, um, do with that. Um, so appreciate that punch. And it's not like um, punch can just... Um, put it in the mail and send it to me guys um he's looking at like forty dollars worth of shipping um to give me a free kit and you can't ask more from your your friends than that you know i'm going to return the favor by giving him some stuff that he can't um purchase you know over there and i i always forget and i feel like such a doofus you're in ireland right punch Yeah, <laughs> I told I uh, uh, I told Punch that I'm sorry it took him a while to get his package, and he's like, "Well, you know what? You're you're this close for me blasting your name all over the internet." <laughs> so I need to get I need to get my button gear, but I got I will I already put everything in a box this time. Um, we got the Chevette, we got the new, uh, we got the resin. Um, MK uh, Mark One Escort. Um, we got the 49 in there, and I and I threw in two more. The <laughs> in '86 we didn't even have the internet in '86. Come on, punch. <laughs> oh. I didn't go priority shipping. It's on its way. I didn't go priority. Man, the stuff I put up with with you guys, man. It's like, why do I even go live? You guys are great. Like I said, you guys are great. We're down to 16. Um, we're down to 16 open spots. We have 19 open spots, but three of them are paid for and ready to give away. Um, like I said, tomorrow... Um, this right here goes down at midnight my time, um, and, um, we'll go and, um, do the drawing tomorrow. Really appreciate all you guys for stepping in there like that. Um, I'm able to have comments and, and joke around like we're doing right now between Punch and, um, and these guys over here. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, man, it'd be so easy to look at stuff I can't afford to buy that would be in Japan. <laughs> and boom, the internet was made. <laughs> I 
I know we're going to go with the gray interior, so I'm going to start with that. I'm going to pull out my primer. I just want to base the floor. That way the floor dries and we can do credit. Did you guys see um, that post there? Um, um, if you guys don't have PayPal, there is a function on um, the link at scaledworld.net where you guys can purchase through like your PayPal debit, uh, PayPal, uh, like through your debit or credit card. This is the, what I'm using here is Steinal Res um, from Badger. Um, you can purchase um, the UMP brand of this, which is the same stuff if you guys are overseas. Um, you can also order it here in the States. Um, but you can order this through the UMP guys if you're um, overseas instead of waiting for Badger. Um, I would love to get the new 6th. That they have they have a, a new six new colors i would love to get those and i would love to be able to get you guys um some primers maybe for our next giveaway or raffle or something um so look forward to that you know with talking with um pete with scaled world we want to be able to um give you guys um the opportunity um to use the same stuff you see us using I got them from um, eBay. Um, I ordered them from the dealer Tokyo Hobbies. But when we paid for them and the shipping label that I get is from mm -hmm. Plaza Japan. So, I mean, you could take it upon yourself to go straight to, um, straight to Plaza Japan if you wanted to or um, to find an eBay dealer. Um, I purchased the wheels without contacting um, Tokyo Hobby, um, so they did not combine shipping for me, um, but others have replied once I made that comment. Others have replied what you do is you request the invoice, um, you request an invoice, and then um, they combine shipping that way, um, but that's done. We pay for it. We, we, we learned now that there's a... <laughs> There's an option, but we got what we wanted. Um, there's a few more sets that we want to pick up, um, but I'm looking into what sets I like that I have here. And if I don't like the way, because the front is a little wide, you can see the see the difference. Um, the fronts are a little wide and the backs are wider. On some builds, this, this don't look so good. Th this does. So if I get a build that looks good with two smalls, what I'm going to do is reorder this wheel, take the fronts, and then have a and ha then have a set of just really wide ones like that um, that we might um, give back to you guys. So I just don't know exactly um, which direction I want to go yet. Just got the wheels in um, yesterday, um, so they're still you know still fresh. Um, but I've been work, wanting to work on this. I would love to try to get this done um, for the Acme show there in September or November. At, where it, it's, I think it's October. Oh, November. See, I was way off. Um, but like I said, you can go to uh, Plaza Japan and look to see if if they have them um, in stock too. Um, 
I tried to go look last night after I got the package and uh, I asked Pete what, what is Plaza Japan and he goes well that's what they you know that's where we sent the the money to buy the wheels and you know I'm thinking I'm getting something from eBay but it looks like maybe um, the eBay seller puts it up on their site and it gets you know secondhand shipped we there's a lot of that here in the US now uh, my wife will buy from um, walmart.com and then we're getting packages from you know straight from the factory or you know stuff like that it's they use you know whatever their thing is hello Bill Guys, still keep uh, them boys down in Texas in your thoughts, man. That I heard um, Harvey swung back around and is dumping more on them. Um, this weekend, we loaded up a bunch of um, water, pop tarts, toilet uh, paper plates, and stuff like that um, from my distribution center um, to head down that way to help them out. Um, I forgot who it was that sent the picture, but man, it was showing these people. Um, robbing car wheels and stuff like that while well, everybody else is worried about flooding and getting lost they're over there um raping people man taking um the belongings that the storm didn't take i can't believe the audacity of some people so we'll just we'll base that we'll put a second coat on it here in a minute um what do we want to do here oh i redesigned where i where I keep everything up here, get the lamp out of the way. Um, my my boxes were taking up too much room. Um, I had them on top of each other, but now I can just stand them on their sides. They got little feet things on them. I can stand them on their sides and get them clear across there. Yeah. I want, here's my speaker. Let's um, go down here and work on the door panels. We're going to have these door cards. No, I won't be, yeah, you're right, Dustin, third-party merchandise. Scott. All right. Pete, do you have a question you can ask the community that is automotive or model related for a free spot in the raffle? Alright, James, what is your question?
Well, I just might have goofed it up, guys. Well, skibbles. We're waiting on you, James. What's your question, brother? Hello, Josh. How you liking your 3D printer, bud? <sighs> A title. Yeah, yeah, but you're going to make some neat stuff with it. Actually, Bill, C covers are pretty readily available for those now. Um, you can go to Mustang Plus and they have all different kinds. The horse running ones was only for the pony package. <laughs> All right, Bill, you got me on that one. I'll give you that one, buddy. Oh, You took a Sonic trip. What the hell? Sonic right next door? Oh, a head a headlight adjuster screw.
Yes, Scaled World, this is. They didn't, they didn't have fog lights in 64. <laughs> Headlight bezel. Trevor, I guess he says uh, you got it first out of anybody. So here are the open numbers. Let's do this. Here's the open numbers. And we'll see what you get, Trevor. By the way, Trevor is my favorite character on Grand Theft Auto. I'm just put that out there. Twenty-seven. All right. Yeah. All right. Um, we do have three spots. Um, Moog, uh, Trevor over at Mooger's Models just took one. So let's, um, what's great, what's great, Trevor, is the two free spots we have left are the two free slots that you donated. So it would be a great way for you to give away your spots that you paid for. Um, so let's, uh, Trevor, go for it, bud. Hey John, did did you did have you been here since the beginning of the of the show? Um, Trevor, uh, Trevor bought you a spot, buddy. Um, we put you down for spot nineteen, John. Um, Trevor uh, got you that one. Yep. So you got a free spot uh, donated by uh, uh, Mooger's Models. Um, Trevor did that for you this morning, buddy. You know, I, I hate to see people getting upset with the way some of our friendships are built here on YouTube. But it, it, what do you think is going to happen, guys, if you don't put yourself in into the crowd of the community? You're, you're, you're going to feel like you're not part of it because you haven't included yourself. It's not like you've been discluded or been forced out. Um, some people don't even give themselves a chance to... Um, to be in the community, you know what I mean? They are, are suddenly, and then they look at it like, you know, they might be getting ignored or, or what have you, but if you don't 
put yourself into the community um, like you know John has been trying to do the live videos but even with him not being able to do a steady stream of videos John still in a lot of our live feeds guys he's still supporting us um, Trevor the same way you know a lot of you guys um, look at badass um, he is stuck on the road providing for his family driving his truck but he's still making a little bit of shows and he's still you know trying to you know be here with us and in the community and like um today when dustin got on facebook i mean he puts himself out there he's expressing what he's going through um and he has a following he has friends that he's made through here um me and then the guys you know i see a lot of the a lot of the guys from the amigo um the amigo group um go over there and hang out with him and stuff like that you know and um if you don't put your if you don't make yourself part of the community you're not going to be in the community and it's your own fault it's not you know there's a click or you know i'm i'm out because uh they favored him it's just they get a better relationship with, with other people that are opened up Uh oh. All right, we'll see, David. I didn't see the question. Did uh, Mooger make a question yet? Uh, I don't remember if I did, Chris. got a groove out when I built I wasn't thinking guys when I built all this um, when I built all this I didn't test fit the door panels I didn't think they went up that far um, and now I see I do and um, we were just talking about this the other day weren't we Scott about test fitting um, Scott did a beautiful job on the 64 Impala and he says um, he says it has to be um, redone. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, we're working on the sunny, Josh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so what I'm doing is I'm just regrooving the doors. If. getting camera shot trying to groove groove it out just a little bit get past where I was Yeah, I like that too.
it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work to stay committed to a schedule. Um, because, like I said, if if I do what's what is beneficial to me, might be um, when you know some of you guys are on your way home from work, or some of you guys luck out and be on lunch. Like Casey, like I was saying yesterday, um, Casey and them. Sometimes when I go live in the morning, it is like so early in the morning for them but yet they still you know watch us i know um um neil from new zealand and it's like when i go live it's like 1 a.m for him you know and for you know to get to get a committed to get a committed um following um you know people are going to have to adjust their time to do that That should work. Yeah, that should work. I need to, what I need to do while the primer is drying on the floor, I need to, um, I'm going to look at the dash, see what I got to do for that skyline dash, how to get it to fit. Uh, if it's on a Friday, uh, you know, the, the IMS show is on Friday. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't, um, be able to take part in that because I like watching those guys and they've been a great support. Um, I wouldn't want to jump in the middle of that. Um, I don't know, usually, uh, a Thursday, a Thursday is my best free day. I really don't have a whole lot going on on Thursdays. Like I say, we can do... We can do an early morning show. Like right now, it's 2.30 in the afternoon here. Yeah, and like I say, Skyler and them, they do their Friday night hangout. Um, but that's too late for me. Um, I, you know, do the family thing when they're home. Yeah, Joe, Joe said it only does it when it hits him, guys, so he must be getting hit a lot. <laughs> I like, I like what Joe has done on his live feeds. Um, it's brought Fast Jimmy back. Um, it's got the community, it had, you know, there for a week or two, it had the community um, I know it was a bit of a, a drama fest, but it had the community talking amongst each other again. It wasn't just a few of us in the shadows doing a little bit here and there, you know. Um, we got Fast Jimmy back. If you guys noticed, um, the doc has been bringing out some videos, getting the videos back in um, for us, you know. So, it's just, we go through seasons sometimes, you know. Good weather, people are going to be gone. Bad weather, people are going to be worried. You know, so it's just um, little spots that we have to fill in here and there. Um, I'm just lucky enough to have a schedule um, that frees me up more often than some of you guys. So, I was going to put speakers in the door covers, but I'm worried about this dashboard. I just HUD butted my overhead lamp. Oh, that fits in there decent. Look at that, guys. Ugh. I can't. See if we get that glued in. Right there, Pete. Let's 
Oh shit. My third should be fine. Back there falls back in. What else? Here? So we'll need to clean up the dash. These seats. See how high these seats will set up in here. Alright, so let's see what that does. I'm just checking some fitment. Get that in there. Then we we'll see what the see if the dash will hold up in there. That dash is gonna be a little bit of a problem. Okay, when I, what, what's the question? When I seen that video, Skyler, that was the first thing I thought of because I always put the 572 and all formed it <laughs> Moog, did you already ask your question and I missed it? Or have you not asked it yet? That's where the seat will be. That, that's kind of low, Pete. We'll have to make it work. Looks a little off too. Looks a little off. What car had no ashtray in the old days? I thought I thought you actually wanted a question. Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm going back looking through what's going on in the chat. Yeah, I get I get a problem. 
Um, I want to work on this and talk, and I don't let you guys see what I'm doing. I'm not a very good cameraman. Didn't the 4.6 come out in um, 90... Dang it. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say, 96. <laughs> oh, then I'd be top heavy, Pete. I'd be. Yeah, I thought the Thunderbird had the 4.6 first. I didn't know the the Mustang had it. And you're saying the Crown Vic. Just clean up some of this resin pieces. Here's a question for you. Which Ford Which Ford on which what was the only Ford that instead of a telecop a telescopic steering wheel it had a swing steering wheel. It would swing from left to right. Now, did did the Etzel have a swinging steering wheel? The captain's got the answer I was looking for. But for some reason, now I feel like... Now I feel like you might be correct. But I was looking for the Thunderbird. Yeah, the Thunderbird's the 60... Um, it started in 61... Here's a custom one I have. Here's a custom Thunderbird I have. And I made the I made it swing out. And that's what they were that's what they they did. So that we got in and out of the car. So Captain, 
Um, here's the numbers that are open. And I'll mark off one of the free spots. I'll mark off one of the free spots. And then you can, Captain, you can pick a number. And then any numbers that is open, we'll put your name down, Captain. The raffle draw will be tomorrow. Um, I'm going to try to do it around noon my time. I built this out of a promo punch, 28. All right. If you don't mind, Captain, um, what's your first name and your last initial? I didn't see I didn't see Skyler's question. What manufacturer helped Toyota produce car parts in the 90s? Honestly, he answered he put both that is a <laughs> oh that's how you cover your bases there trevor you just say every automotive maker name <laughs> okay what Ford, now listen to this. Here's another free question. I'll give you guys this last free question. What Ford, what Dodge product had Mitsubishi engines? Um, We're raffling off. It's going to be a 50-50 pot. Um, uh, the 50-50 pot, um, half the money goes to, um, Richard Session from the Nerd Life. John Pohl has one of the, um, John Pohl has one of the correct answers, and then I'm looking for the Chrysler car, um, The Ford Probe and this Dodge had the same motors. Like when I went to replace my head, the guy said, is it a Probe or it is a Dodge? And, you know, because they shared the same motor. Sometimes you get it at five. Sometimes you you get it at five o'clock. We're raffling this off. We're raffling this build off, and it's a fifty-fifty pot. Half the money is going. So the first, the answer is out there. The first person that says both of them will get the free spot. You have to say both of them together. And then it's a fully detailed Dodge Dingleberries. <laughs> Somebody take away the huffer. That is not correct. That's not correct. That is correct, Bill. Man. Yeah, I had to replace my head on my uh, 88 Dodge Shadow ES Turbo. And when I went to tell the guy that I needed um, the rocker cams, uh, I needed the rocker cam um, seating, uh, seating things, you know, so I can put the rocker and all that back together, 
he said um is it a dodge shadow es or it is or it is a, a probe and I was like, no, it's above the head. He goes, no probe as in Ford probe. I thought he meant like an inner, like an inner, inner thing, you know. And he goes, uh, no, the Ford probe and the Dodge Shadow ES have the same motor. <laughs> um, but we're raffling this off. It is fully detailed. Um, seat belt, photo etch, the motor and all the wiring's done. Oh, probe, I get it. <laughs> so we're raffling that off. Um, it was $5. Um, the raffle is $5 a spot. Um, and then what we're doing, we're just filling this up. Um, the raffle will be tomorrow. Um, I've given out several different prizes within the raffle. All the yellow highlighted spots have um, won either this. They'll either win this. Um, where is, I have another figure around here, um, a set of paints have been won, um, and then this little figure here has been won, and then I did, um, the wheel, we did the wheel of modeling, um, kind of like a wheel of fortune game show, and Bill, um, from Bobblehead, Rod Shop, he won, um, he's won, um, this promo Cadillac, um, so the, the raffle has been great, I would love to sell out, um, to help out Richard, and, but we've been giving away some great stuff, he said accidentally, no, <laughs> I'm sorry, Pete. It's go Oh. That's why I need somebody. I need a manager. I need a manager to keep me, uh, keep my mindset and the onset. <laughs> yeah, I know some of you guys are, are, are automotive based, um, and some of the figures don't. Um, interest you guys um, these were just free free giveaways to put within the thing um, like I said they weren't cheap but I just thought it'd be some cool you know something cool to pick up to put in the raffle for you guys to have something other than instead of you know a lot of people they ask for support um, a lot of these YouTube channels um, have been going uh, uh, patreon you know they want you guys to send a monthly payment um, I don't want to do that. I do like what I'm doing. Um, so I kind of want to bring stuff back to you guys. Give you guys more options. Um, give you guys some more options of stuff to do. There you go, Bill. I got you down. Number 90. Um, so as of right now, we gave all three spots away, didn't we? Yep. All the free spots are, are away. Um, I want to thank um, Butch, Casey, um, David Goodwin, and um, George, and Mooger. I'd put that down. Trevor. For donating, uh, let's see, they did 10, 12, 14, 18 spots this time. You guys donated back so far. Um, now Skyler has donated a lot guys, but they've all went back to young model master. Um, that's a great friendship like Casey, um, picking up spots for Jason. Um, like today, Trevor picked three of you guys and, and, uh, and specifically named, um, Edgar, um, Monty and John for a spot. It's great to see you guys come back into the community. Um, you know. So, and then with the funds, and then um, punch with the funds that I've been doing, um, the funds I've been uh, receiving um, from the raffles. Um, the very first one went to Blair Plexer's family, um, 
and we raised almost five hundred dollars um, for his wife, which is great. Um, then uh, the last one um, was a few hundred dollars, um, and then we turned around and I got more resin. We have some more resin stuff that we're going to send to John Paul and to uh, Blair. Passed away. You meant how's Blair's family? Yeah, he passed away um, beginning of this year. Oh yeah, you didn't hear that? Yeah, he had a sudden heart attack, and um, he passed away. Um, so we did we did a fundraiser for him um, over here, uh, Scaled World, and um, myself. Over here, we did, um, yeah, the weekend before the NNL leased. Well, that I don't know of. I just know that, you know, we did the fundraiser for him. And um, I did not know somebody was using this thing. Yeah, and um, so we did, a, we did our first raffle for Blair. It went very well. Um, I raffled off my blue Chevy truck, um, which George Ramos won. Um, the last raffle, we raffled off my 66 Chevelle wagon. It's all beat up. Um, David won that one. Uh, David Goodwin, he won that one. And then this time we're doing that Regal. Um, and we're giving half the proceeds to the Nerd Life. Um, Richard has a, a disease um, that... in yeah, um, Richard has a disease that his legs um, swell up. They fill with fluid, and the doctors really, the doctors really don't know, you know, what causes it. It's such a rare um, disease. At first, they thought maybe it was a side effect from another um, prescription he was on. Um, I don't know the whole gist of it. It just he was a tattoo artist by trade, and um, Um, there was a, 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 he was a tattoo artist by trade, so he, um, oh, uh, we, we raised money for Gary Ruby when we were selling stuff, um, Gary Ruby over at, uh, uh, Moderate Modeler, um, and Gary was doing all right, yeah, Gary, yeah, yeah, older guy, and, um, so I just threw in some of this stuff to help you guys um, get something for your money instead of asking you guys um, for a, a subscription fee or something like that. Um, I enjoy doing what I do, sharing with you guys and having fun with you guys. Um, so I thought I'd make that a little bit more fun. And we got more things coming up. Um, we're This is what we're working on now. And the spots left now should be 16 spots, Skyler. Um... Pete just texted me. Um, Pete just... Um, Pete is going to get... Um, Pete. Uh, Pete just texted me. Somebody purchased two slots. Um, I hope... I don't know if they come from... Um, Facebook or, or through here. Um, so I got to get their... I got to get their two spots in... But after those two spots are put in, no, you're all right. You're all right. Um, we got to get those two spots um, put in for him, and then there should be 14 spots left, guys. Um, so that's pretty darn good, and I appreciate you guys because half the money goes um, to another member in the modeling community, and then we, like you guys said, another thing I picked up, guys. If you guys hadn't. Um, then caught up. I went and picked up all the all the braided hose that I could get from um, Scaled World, uh, ScaledWorld.net, um, <laughs> from Extreme Scale Modeling, um, Extreme Scale Details. I'll get it right today. I'll get it right today. I, I'm all loopy. I went to the doctors. I'm on some feel goods. Um, so as soon as I get, I'm missing two 
sets for uh, the PMT 21 and one of the 22 and when Chip and Lisa um, get that to me um, I'm making up some goodie bags guys um, some more goodie bags of the Protec braided wire stuff um, so you guys can get more <laughs> I took it out of your you need to check out sooner <laughs> Uh, we're in build 19. We're at stage 19, not 1,000. <laughs> uh, well, after this raffle, after this raffle, guys, I have some family. Um, I have some family priorities that I need to focus on, so we probably won't do another raffle. Um, maybe in October. We'll do something in October. So let's see. Yeah, I built this one, Punch. This right here is an original promo. You can still see everything still stamped on the chassis. Still got the screws in it. I used the AMT Black Force wheels for it. Um, the chrome was shot and the fins were broke when I got it. So I did some little custom treatment to it. This is something I need to rebuild. I did this so many years ago. Yeah, down, the, James, this raffle here, this 50-50 raffle here, um, was between you and Richard. And when I, when I looked through, um, the necessity of the two, I think Richard was in a position he needed, um, some support. Um, some support now versus, um... With you, with you, we know that you know you're not really in desperate need, and Richard is more in, in a spot. You know what I'm trying to say, James. But you will be one of the ones we do the 50-54. We've already talked about it. Um, Gilbert uh, at Red Dragon Model Works has um, contacted me about some stuff, and. Um, me and Pete has some stuff planned. Um, there's a lot of stuff that we're going to get ready for for the next 50-50. Because our intentions on the 50-50 is try to get you guys as much help, I should say, if needed. Or, or, or you know, a way to break the monotony. It's not just for, hey, let's send, uh, let's send James 150 bucks to do whatever he wants to with. You know what I'm saying, James? Um, so I hope you understand. Hello, John. Yeah, and like John donating, um, like John donating uh, the kit. Um, it's not a, an easy kit to get um, all the time, so it was great that John stepped up to help me too, and, and doing something like that. They have the the way they have this. See, they have this right here off. I don't know what that is. They have this right here off centered, but it doesn't look like my arms are where they should be. Are they supposed to be setting down that low? If that's the way it fits in there. I would think I'd want it more up this way, but it won't fit right in there. We'll make it work. We'll make it work. All right. Mm -hmm. Now that everything's coming together, this thing's getting a lot tighter to move in and out. I just hope it's feasible when we go to actually build it and work on it. Yeah, I seen the pictures, John. That's going to be crazy. I 
All right. So we got some base down on the interior. We got to talk a little bit. Man, you guys are distractible. You know, I got I got like a, a mind like a dog. It's like, oh, uh, we're working, we're working, squirrel. And then, <laughs> yeah, I'm trying, Pete, I'm trying. Too blurry, yeah, there it goes. And you see how light it is when you put it on, then how dark it gets once it dries. Yeah, I've done some building off camera. Mm -hmm. But I've been pushing, I've been pushing myself to do a series of builds uh, like this. If you guys don't know who um, Tom Rid Ridger is off of um, the Scale Modeling Channel, um, he does some great uh, build series where he, he does it start to finish. Um, he talks about the supplies that he's used and, you know, stuff like that. Um, he has some great, great series um, that he does and I've always wanted to do something like that his is way more uh, <laughs> way more followable than mine because <laughs> I think by stage 19 he's got it completed <laughs> it's because I like the live feed you don't have to edit nothing you can correspond with people as they're watching um, it's just something that I, I, I enjoy. Um, I buy at Hobby Lobby. They have a cheap set of paint brushes in, in a black bag by the Hobby stuff. And I like using it. It's just, they're really no name. Um, they just come in a bunch of different sizes. And I just like to use them. I mean, I don't have nothing fancy, um, you know, um, some of them guys like Gilbert and them, they have some great, um, they have some great and expensive brushes, man, and I just, I've never um, ventured in, into it yet. Well, you better plug it in. I appreciate all the help you guys have been giving me uh, and the support and encouragement. John, the last feed I got to see on my way to work, um, it was clear. I'm going to say it was clear. The only problem I was getting is... It didn't sound like an echo. It sounded like once you talk to us, something else, like a, a, another part of your video was playing. And it wasn't like an echo. It, it sounded, to me, it sounded like something totally different. Use these little rouse speakers for the door. Hello, Charlie Mack. How you doing, bud? How's the Bentley going? It it is a Bentley, ain't it? Yeah, maybe that's what I'm trying to say. 
Thanks, Charlie. Imperial, yeah. Let me get. I keep getting yelled at. I don't do enough work on camera, so I'm going to try to get back over here. Oh, do you, you got? Was you guys able to hear the alarm? <laughs> uh, I warned myself that the kids are about to be home. That's because you see plastic slinging. You want to get home and work on some plastic. Let me get that look more like a bezel. that glued in there. Jay, you'll get home soon, buddy. You'll get home soon. You guys getting anything from... <laughs> oh, my God. I'm going to have to come on live at 1 o'clock in the morning and just sit here and build and not talk. Yeah, yeah, I knew you were talking about, um, that's why, uh, Charlie, that's why I, um, I wash all mine with, like, a Scotch-Brite. See if I have one. I get, yeah, I don't see it in my drawer, but you can get some pads from the store, and I like to use the gray 3M mm -hmm. Scotch-Brite, and then I just... Like, get the model wet, um, get the model wet, throw the, the, the Ajax all over it, and then with the gray, uh, with the gray scratch pad, um, uh, wash it with that Ajax, and as I'm washing it, um, it's scuffing the plastic too, um, helping it get ready for, for all the paint that's coming its way. Um, right now you see this is all shiny, um, when I get to the part of doing the paint, I'll show you all that. And, um, you know, it's just, I just base it, um, basically like if you're about to wash a dirty pan or something, um, and then, and it, 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 uh, like knocks down the shine and it scuffs it up as I'm washing it. Especially with using aftermarket resin stuff, like what we have on the front of this, you definitely have to make sure you, you uh, get it all washed and really, really clean. Now, I'm going to start another fight in the community. I keep saying wars. I remember last time I was on here talking about wars. <laughs> And then what was that what was the ultimate question we was talking about? Um pizza. Does um does um pineapple belong on pizza? I say yes. I uh, I believe we could put pineapple on anything.
Guys, you know what's great about every what, what I talked about, you know, including yourself and then putting yourself out there. I remember when Skyler first came to us um, in the eight second speed shop. He would really, really quiet, didn't say a whole lot, and definitely didn't have no um, back sass about him. And through hanging out with Clifton, young model master, um, Pappy, um, Skyler's really opened up. He's been coming. Um, quite the comedian. He fits right in when people go, um, yeah, <laughs> I was trying to be nice, Skylar. And, uh, you know, now he goes right back at it with us. Um, you know, uh, Skylar contacted me. I had made a few comments about my oldest son and Sky Skylar contacted me and said that he had some of the same issues as growing up. Um, so, you know, I'm partial to Skylar. I know some of the battles um, Skylar has to um, tend to on the everyday. And, you know, great, great kid. He is a great kid. Yeah, I'm about out of here too, guys, man. Um, now, tomorrow, my plan tomorrow is we're going to get up. We're going to do some work on the lowrider. I had a question in the lowrider community. I had a question about building lowrider stuff through the community. So, tomorrow, um, we're going to make cylinders and a rear end and a front end, and we're going to get this car um, jacked up on hydro on the hydraulic suspension stuff. Um, hello, Gary. Um, I'm sorry, bud. We is just about to kill this. I have to get the kids home from school. Um, I like to go live about 11 a.m. my time, John, so it'll probably be about noon your time. Um, Gary G, it'll probably be 9 a, uh, p.m. for you. And um, we're going to do um, some hydraulic suspension on here. Uh, it really won't work, but what we're doing, you know, the look, you know, when they're set up like this, you know, when they're all cracked up. Um, I don't know if I'll do it standing up on all fours like this. Or if I'll do the rear end drop, the front end up. Um, but I'm, I'm leaning more this way. I'm leaning more of um, raised up all the way around. Yeah, Jay. Um, so check that out. And we'll get uh, we'll do that tomorrow on the, on the how-to. Um, I plan on building what's called a bridge. Um, doing the cylinders. Showing you guys how to um, get the stance. Um, when you're trying to lock up a front end like that. Um, if you guys haven't seen um, Gary G's video this week, um, click on Scale Dreams and Sty uh, Car Dreams and Styrene. Go over there and check out him. And um, these are not toys. He'll 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 make sure that um, that's clear by the end of the video. Um, these are not toys. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, Gary, guys, uh, Gary G on his channel, um, Car Dreams and Styrene, um, he's showing you guys, um, he has a great series of tutorials coming out. Um, you guys see the way I hinge my door, you know? Um, Gary is doing... Um, his version of how he hinges his doors and he 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 gives you a lot of information I have left out I showed you guys how to make a hinge how to get the door to swing he's actually showing you the purpose of why you need certain gaps and where you need to glue um, your hinge at to achieve the door opening like so um, I just jumped in here and made hinges and showed you guys you know this is how I hinge um, but Gary has slowed down um, he has slowed down on what I tried to share with you guys and to show you, um, you know, the movement stuff, what you need to have, where you need to position stuff at, um, a lot better, um, a lot easier, I should say, and un more understandable, um, than what I put out there. Um, so thank you for that, Gary, and, um, 
yeah. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. And don't forget the raffle is at 12 noon um, tomorrow, my time. Um, and <laughs> tomorrow, my time. So we'll go out there. We'll get that raffle um, going away. As of right now, I have to add two spots from what came in today. All the free spots are gone. Um, this does end at midnight. Um, you guys can, um, if you guys are interested that are watching, you can PayPal, um, you guys can PayPal, um, Pete Gritty at, um, scaledworld.net, um, he'll confirm, um, he'll confirm the payment, you can pay right here, it's $5 a spot, we have 16 spots open, um, and then we'll have all that updated, I'll update the list, um, first thing in the morning, because this right will stop the list at midnight. Um, all the money received after midnight, um, after I receive um, midnight, we'll we'll shut everything down, and then um, we'll do the we'll we'll fill in the spots and do the raffle and everything. Um, I'll give you guys update on Facebook and on here first, and then um, we'll do the. Raw, uh, live random draw um, and like you guys had stated last time um, it looks like the majority of you guys want to go until it hits um, and you know if it lands on 76 um, I asked uh, I asked you guys if it landed on 76 would you rather roll up roll down and um, the majority of you guys said roll again until we land on uh, a number so and um, congratulations to Eddie, um, David, and James Schultz. You guys have won um, one of the secret hiding spots. I will reveal those um, during tomorrow's live feed. And um, you guys have a great day. Thank, thank you for all you do for me. And um, skilledworld.net. And don't forget, you guys got some time today. Go over there. Check out what the community is posting at skilledworld.net. Um, and and don't be and don't be too unsure of yourself. Um, enter your own stuff. We'd like to see what you guys are building. So um, you guys take care. You guys have a great day, and I'm out.